So we've been sitting here for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what happens when you're doing something with your best friend. It just goes on for way longer than you expect it to. True, true, true. Also, if you've noticed, we're now having popcorn because we still needed snacks, but mm -hmm. tuck is... Popcorn we, and we, coffee. We finished our tuck. And water, because hydration is important. The time where we were in dining hall, and um, we both got so sick. Like, I think it was with different things, but we sorry. were ill. Like, I think at I, the same time. Yeah, at the same time, but I had the flu and you had something else, I'm pretty sure. And we just watched Harry Potter and drank ginger, no, not ginger ale, Gatorade. And she ate. came into my bed. Yeah, and we just like <laughs> watched, we watched Harry Potter, uh, ate crackers, and yeah. Oh. It was, was done. And when Naomi came in, and she's like, you guys shouldn't be hanging out. You're different kinds of sick. And we're like, it's okay if I'm sick, she's sick. We're that's, sick. That's life. So and like, that was after like knowing each other a few weeks. Yeah. And we're like, like if I'm sick, we're sick. Yeah. One of my favorite memories is literally when Simone and I became best friends. Mm -hmm. It was an instant thing. She literally just like saw me. We had known each other for a long time, but like not like, we weren't close. She was mm -hmm. like an acquaintance. Mm -hmm. We would friendly. Yeah. But she literally just jumped on me and then we were best friends. It's true. Like, it was zero to 100 real quick. It's beautiful. It's beautiful mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I love it. I think the community is like the biggest draw for camp for me. Yeah. Community is really where I see God. Yeah. Who is God for you? Oh, good question. Um, hmm. Well, off the top of my head, I think that God for me is kind of like a father figure, but not necessarily like what I've grown up having as a father figure, kind of like what like I picture like the perfect father figure being, right? Because no one has a perfect dad, but I think that God kind of symbolizes almost like what a, a perfect dad would kind of be like, supportive, safe, loyal, uh, protective, and trustworthy in the sense that like you can go to God with so many different worries concerns and it's always a safe place to vent seek support wisdom and help and that's kind of what yeah that's kind of how I picture God I picture him as like an authority figure in my life someone that I want to abide by someone I want to please I just think like having that safe space to vent seek support and God doesn't like want us to be someone to seek his like approval. Like we can't earn approval from him, but he is still someone that I want to please and I want to do well for. I want to try to like make God happy with like how I treat others. Cause I know that, yeah, God relishes in like people being kind and people being supportive of one another and acting out of love instead of just like, yeah, out of like selfish amb ambitions and anyways, yeah. Camp has changed my life in so many different ways. It also kickstarted my faith yeah. for sure. It's taught me a lot about how God sees me because I think that one of my best versions of myself is here and how people really empower me to do like different, I don't know, leadership things or they empower me to step out of my comfort zone. I think there's a, like I personally, I've been blessed to feel very safe here and that I could just be kind of my unfiltered version of myself or I could be wacky, crazy, loud or quiet as I really want, whatever I feel comfortable with and people always kind of like find a way to utilize your gifts. Like there's always a way to contribute to camp and you always feel like you have kind of like a sense of belonging. I know that maybe not everyone is blessed to experience that and I hope that um, both here at camp and worldwide that we could always try to find um, space to utilize people's gifts and continue to support people with the yeah their different calling. One of the biggest life lessons I've learned was given to me by Sue in England. We went to England together, we went to Cape Canaveral Bible School and um, one of the leaders there um, just told us a little bit about her testimony and she said like my hope for you is that you know that God 
spent the exact same amount of time on you as he did on everyone else. And I was like, when she said that, I was like, whoa. Because so often I would look at other people and be like, God bless them, either through their talents, um, through their family situation, through their their appearance, through their academics, like everything. Like, how did God like bless these individuals so abundantly and not necessarily me? Yeah. And it's pretty pretty incredible to think that God did spend the same amount of time on you as he did me, as he did Aurora, and that favoritism didn't exist there. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry that you're crying. So sorry. <laughs> Hearing, so she, uh, Sue had a best friend. Oh yeah. At Cape and Ray. And yeah. one of her things that she said, <laughs> sorry, let me just, mm -hmm. <laughs> they mm -hmm. would remind each other whenever they put each, like, it was like, oh, you know, I just don't look good today. They'd be like, hey, mm -hmm. like, God put just as much time on you. Like, they would, like, say, like, don't yeah. say that about my best friend. No. And, like, I just think about that. Like, as you're saying that, like, mm -hmm. to think that you would not think that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Right. Because she's so amazing. Mm. My best friend no, is no, no, so no, no, amazing. No, 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 Yes. But, like, yeah, no. that's what you I know what you learned, right? Yeah. And so from Sue, like, learning that. Yeah. Um, it's true. Once you learn it and you're just like, yeah, the comparison aspect is just like, it's no longer like, you know, it's like, okay, this is no longer helpful for me to be comparing, seeking, and like reminding yourself of because it's like, yeah, it's just not speaking truth into yourself. And yeah, it's still a hard lesson to be like, mm -hmm. I have to remind myself of it constantly yeah. still. It's not like it's a one and done, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't love... Simone more than he loves me. He doesn't love me more than he loves Simone. He spent mm -hmm. just as much time yeah. perfecting you and that it blows me away. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. We're masterpieces. I know. It was pretty transformational for me to to hear. Yeah. yeah. One of the biggest good lessons. But hard to accept. Yeah. It takes a lifetime. It takes a lifetime. Another life lesson. I need to learn how to take a compliment. It's very difficult. It's hard. Yeah. Words of affirmation are my love language. Me, except, yeah. me too, though. And, and I don't like hard. to take it. Yeah. Uh, why did they cry? You don't. Are we done? Yeah. Perfect. Go ahead. I'll make you look good. You're welcome. I'm inhaling this. I need a shot. Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. Though. I know you get it. I get it. But do they get it? After hours with Maddie and Simone. Oh, okay. I'm gonna okay. be down the wrong way. I'm sweaty. You best believe I'm it. Scratch my eyeball, please. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna zoom in to your eyeball. <laughs> Oh no! We're alive. <laughs> it's okay, we'll cut it out. <laughs> we're keeping it. We're comedy. It's great. It's great. It's it's great. great. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one time you were thrown into the creek. <laughs> Not a great memory for you. Uh, yeah. uh, That's a memory. <laughs> it's a memory. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more, subscribe below and you'll get notified when we have new content. Thank you. It's like, whoa, spot on with my notes of flavor.